Hi everyone, my name is Grace and I'm going to be doing a quick campus tour with you guys. Well, not quick, it's going to be 11 minutes long, but bear with me. So we're going to start at the lower campus and we're going to quickly come upon Heijun Quad. Heijun Quad is the engineering quad which has a lot of the STEM buildings on campus. So this is Gergen Hall, it also has Optic Hill um, and houses the biomedical engineering and optics programs. As we pan, we will see Wegman Hall um, which has Pete's Coffee as well as Highland and Hutch. As we continue, we have the Computer Studies Building uh, and Carlson Library. Carlson Library is the STEM library and it is currently on a renovation but should be done by the time we get back to school. Uh, the Computer Studies Building also has the Audio Engineering Program. So again, we have Wegman, um, it has a lot of lecture halls. Uh, we are going to have the Hadrum statue, of course, and the other side of Gergen. Next on our tour, we have the Spinny statue. It is obligatory that you spin it. Please do it. Just trust me. It is the most fun thing on campus. Taylor Hall is going to have disability resources as well as the Title IX office. This is the backside of Dewey where the River Campus Music Department is. Um, there's also a path that goes toward the River and Admissions Building. Then we have Gavitt Hall that has classrooms, um, as well as Harkness Hall that will also have just standard academic classrooms. Next we go up these stairs that lead to a little sitting area and then Meliora Hall, which has the Brain Cognitive Sciences and Psychology. Um, other classes are also taught here as well and Meliora Hall does connect to the tunnel system. So as we turn, uh, we're gonna head toward the front of Rush Rees, um, which will be open on our right. At the end of Eastman Quad is the Interfaith Chapel that sits right on the river, and bam, there is our million dollar view. Sorry, Rachel. As we continue on our tour, uh, we're going to turn to our right so on the right of Rush Reeves, we are going to have Bosch and Loam, which is the physics building. It has the few lecture halls as well as the physics and astronomy library. Then we go to Hoyt. Hoyt has a big lecture hall and connects to the tunnel system. Hoyt Auditorium is where on-campus groups like UR Cinema usually hold movie nights. And then we come to Dewey. Dewey has several helpful centers in it, such as the Green Center for Career Education and Connections, the Ain Center for Entrepreneurship, and it connects to the Simon Business School. It also has the music department, as I mentioned before, and warning, it is very easy to get lost or turned around in Dewey based on my own personal experience. And then we have Schlegel and Simon Business. As we continue, we have Strong Auditorium, And then as we come, we have Lattimore Hall that has classes in public health, American Sign Language, uh, Gender, Sexuality, Women's Studies, Linguistics, English, Film and Media Studies. Um, there are some departments also located. Then we have Mori. Mori Hall has the Film and Media Studies and English departments and a number of classrooms. And it also connects to Retner that has the Digital Media Lab, Video Studio, and Recording Studio. Um, this bridge connects to Upper Wilco, Wilson Commons, um, and then Upper Dougie has a hidden lounge and the Intercultural Center. It connects via bridge to Rush Rees Library. At the back of Rush Rees, we have the bus terminal. Um, and as we continue, we will show you guys the University Health Services and the building also contains the Undergraduate Counseling Center. And then we have this little park, which I think is cute. And of course, as we continue walking, we find a ground boy! Ah! Ground boys are everywhere. They are the pride and soul of the University of Rochester. They are a must see. Then we have Susan B. Anthony Hall. It is one of the freshman dorm buildings on campus. It also contains Hillside Market. Um, note that declining can be used here, but only for food or drink items, um, not products, medication, school supplies, condoms. If you need condoms, you should check out the Safe Sex Express, where you can get them directly delivered discreetly for free to your mailbox in Todd Union. 
Uh, this right here is where you can find uh, replacements for your IDs. It does cost something, so make sure you don't lose your ID. And this is Danforth. Danforth has the second dining hall on campus. It has very limited hours, usually only open on Monday through Thursday, so be cautious if you're short on time. Um, on the side of Sue B, there's Genesee, and then as we turn, we'll see the residential life offices. And we're gonna have another ground boy break, as you do. This is essential for campus, just go with it. Uh, then we have the student athletes that are training during this hot summer day. Um, this is the main field, it is called Fauver. As we continue along the path to Sue B, we arrive at Spurrier Hall, the home of the program of dance and movement, and the Spurrier Dance Studio, music practice rooms, and a gymnasium where some cl club sports practice. Then we can't forget the back of Sue B. Uh, people slide down this hill all the time. Um, it has volleyball court, grills, um, and it connects to Hill Court via, via a bridge. And then we have the Sage Art Center. Sage Art Center is arguably the most aesthetic building on campus. If you're not an art student, maybe you won't think that way, but I definitely do. Um, this place is called Jackson Court. Jackson Court it has three buildings, Anderson, O'Brien, and Wilder. All three of these buildings are upperclassmen housing. O'Brien also has a dance studio and practice room. Um, and then as we continue, we're gonna turn right around to 180. Um, this is Towers Field at the bottom of Spurrier Hall. So this is the baseball field. Rumor has it the baseball boys play their music really loud during finals week, but we'll see how it goes this next year. We're back to Favre Field. That's the Genesee. Uh, instead of Genesee, there are sports offices. Oh, ground boy break. Uh, inside of Genesee, there are sports offices, a fitness center for athletes, um, and rooms where some of the clubs on campus will hold their meetings. Ah, uh, yes, the nipple of knowledge. Be careful in this intersection, people all, almost get hit by campus buses. Ground boy! The Gurgan Athletic Center has fitness centers, the hit room, places where clubs hold practices, basketball courts, a pool, indoor track, tennis, squash courts, all the athletic things that aren't outdoor. Next is the lower part of Douglas, which houses Douglas Dining Hall. If you are craving dessert, go to this dining hall over Defoe. Beware though, they don't have a whole lot of vegetarian options, but there is a gluten-free pantry and a kosher station. Upstairs there is Feldman Ballroom, as well as the Language Center, and as I mentioned before, the Intel Cultural Center. Wilson Commons is the campus center. It has Starbucks, The Pit, a great place to get food, Wilson Commons student activities, the newspaper, Campus Times, uh, the Common Market that has a candy bar and sells tickets to events, the May Room, the Food Pantry, Hearst Lounge, formerly known as the Flag Lounge, and then we have Wilson Quad. Next is Retner, which is an essential place for digital media studies, film and media studies, audio engineering. You can use the computer labs and studios. We will come upon La Chase. La Chase is a building that has a lot of classrooms and houses the Warner School of Education. Next, we are headed down to the freshman quad where the dorms are located. There are four essential buildings that you need to know about on the freshman quad. Hoeing, then we have Lovejoy. Lovejoy is only upperclassmen. And finally, as we continue, we will have Gilbert, Gilbert is on our right, and then we will have Tiernan. This is where most of you will be living this coming fall.
Up next is Todd Union. It houses the International Theatre Program. It has the Scene Shop. They have a Black Box Theatre, Chase Bank, the Mail Center. If you want to see the arguably weirdest and ugliest bathroom on campus, go to the top floor women's restroom. You will not regret it. And right across is Drama House and the rest of the frat quad. Sloan is the brand new building right next door that will be for the performing arts. And of course, this sidewalk leads right back to Lower Eastman Quad, which again has Interfaith Chapel and yet another aesthetic view of Rush Rees. And last but not least, alongside the river, we have the admissions building, Wallace Hall. Some of you might recognize this building from tours this past summer. Uh, feel free to hit us up with any questions, and we hope you enjoyed the quick tour. Like and follow for more Her Campus at Rochester content. And don't forget to check us out at the Activities Fair this fall. Congratulations to Class of 2025, and a big welcome to campus.